It's time for the AFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Miami. It's the Chiefs and the Dolphins, under the lights, on Sunday night. Playoff fever has immersed South Florida as we are at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Straight ahead, it's a clash to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl. And it'll be a great one between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Miami Dolphins. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the, this is the one that's the real challenge. It's a trip to sunny Arizona for Super Bowl 57. The AFC title game is underway. This one fielded at the five. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league, it's Patrick Mahomes. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback, and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. Throwing at the outset, here's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard game. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism. Great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And he's locked in early. Two nice first down completions to start. I like the fact that he's seeing the whole field early. Spreading it around a little bit in the early going. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. Well, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the Dolphins will have solid field position here as they take over at the 45-yard line. And certainly, look, you're on the road in the playoffs. That is a suboptimal start, opening drive INT. And, partner, sometimes I wonder, do these teams talk about it to such an extent that maybe you almost talk yourself into the turnover when you're trying to avoid it? Yeah, maybe they get a little too worried about keeping the football, and then you give it to the other team right off the bat. And look, we said it on the road. This is just a terrible, terrible start for them. It is, and now they've got to rely on their defense. Starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at the 45. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And they'll get this on the screen to Mostert. And he'll be brought down just shot of the 40. Play action. 
action. Now it's Tua. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Looking to pass, Tua. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Sanders' kick is good. And the Dolphins will jump out to a 3-0 lead. So Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And any time you get the ball, what's the first thing the coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach turned his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't, as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side, because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. Second and five. Mahomes now to throw. Trying to find his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Brandon Jones picking it off. And the Dolphins are going to take possession of the football. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock State. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. After the turnover, it's Tua. Over the middle to back him. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Left tackle Eric Fisher, the former Kansas City Chief, the guilty party. Still second down. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he's going to ball his way into the end zone for the Dolphin score. James Robinson, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on. Point up and good by Sanders. And the lead grows to 10-0. And that drive started with not a lot of real estate in front of them. And plus territory X 
excellent field position. Two plays later, pay dirt. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. KC's offense ready to take over. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit, like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Nothing. <laughs> and Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and the Dolphins touchdown. Well, CD, we have seen it many times throughout the course of the season. This defense coming up large and snagging a big takeaway. But here they get not just the takeaway, six points as well. And you just knew that for this team to advance, they had to get a big performance from this unit. And to this point, they delivered. Sanders. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So an early advantage now, and a good one. 17-0 our score as they kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. Boy, still in the first quarter. And look out, I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although... Like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. Same. And the lead is now 24. The scoop and score are always an exciting play in football. And we win this dip there, grabbing it off the ground, and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This one fielded at the five. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there in the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at him. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. From the 29, Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. 
And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's good for 28 yards. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Brian Burns, the one to bring him down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Man open. It's Tony. He's got it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Second catch of this AFC title game, and he's got a first down. Here's a give up the middle. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now Mahomes. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind is mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, Big man with football. <laughs> Work out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his... And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. A turnover is obviously Charles always costly, but oh, man, when you throw those interceptions in the end zone... Stings. He tried to fit that one into his tight end, and I often use the expression NFL open, which means a tighter window. Down near the goal line, you really want him to be open. In this case, go. it cost him. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. We're following the play now. They're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Damn. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Ready, ready. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time. I'm manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line, well short of the first. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. 
Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys just barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Mahomes now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Charles, it is pretty rare that we see a team build this kind of lead in the opening quarter. And, and they seem to be clicking on all three phases right there. The defense doing its part with a pick six. Has absolutely been the definition of a start that you would pick for yourself and for your team, right? And I have a feeling that they just want to stay in this zone. What's truly incredible about this start is they can add on a couple more scores. This one could legitimately be over in the second quarter. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the round is on here in this first half. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one fielded at the five. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Chiefs ready to rock again on offense. They've got to be absolutely reeling right now. Couldn't have expected to be down this big this early. But that's the spot they're in as they come up to try again here. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 24, Mahomes throw left side, complete to Tony. Two yards on the pickup there. And now it's third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. Taken from just outside the 30. Call it an even 40-yard punt. 7-0 on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Hunt, hunt. They begin the drive with Robinson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still second down. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. 
And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And that takes us from second to third down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Here's Tua. And Hill with it over the middle. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tyreek Hill motivated for this one. And playing against the team, he became a star playing for the Kansas City Chiefs. But traded in the offseason. He was just a fifth round pick when he was selected back in 2016. But since then, six Pro Bowls, three All Pro teams, 4,000 yard seasons. And most important of all, of course, a Super Bowl ring. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. As they've got it with a first and ten. First and ten, it's Robinson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Two is throw complete there to Beckham. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. A gain there of 21 yards. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. Touchdown, Dolphins! Mike Gesicki, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And a round is on here in this first half. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. McCole Hardman to return it from his end zone. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, 
They need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, there's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. To throw once more on second and 10. Mahomes. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. And again, it's Mahomes. And my goodness, another interception. Dante Jackson picks it, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. I cannot imagine a more perfect half of football for one side CD and a more disastrous half of football for another side. But if you focus on the positive half with this pick six, you look at where that lead is at and to think that we are only in the second quarter. My goodness. <laughs> I love the expression. My goodness, indeed. Pretty obvious. It's a free ball out there. Everybody gets a chance to make a play. And if you're on the field, you got a great chance of being the next guy that your teammates are celebrating. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the round is on here in this first half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. Remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Going for Burton, and he's got it. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On second and 11 now. Mahomes. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nothing. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Mahomes on third. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 39. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Open man right side is Smith-Schuster, complete. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. 
he decided to run a hitch route, it really helped to have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll go down at the 28. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's Mahomes to throw. That'll be caught. It's Tony. Touchdown. Kadarius Tony. 27 yards. And the Chiefs are able to claw one back. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they get a bit of a respite here from what's been an otherwise dreadful first half of football. Here's the Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. And he'll going to sit on this one and it'll come out to the 25. So now here come the Dolphins. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. <laughs> Running the counter with Mostert. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Well, give him credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stuff the run, and then executed. On second and nine, Tua. They're going deep for Hill. They got his man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 56 yards. And the Dolphins are able to add on to their first half lead. Sanders on for the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it is for the touchdown pass to Tyree Kill. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured Chief on the field. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty rubbed up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, but the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. Finding space at the 40. Now he's loose at the 40. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Well, like so many wide receivers, he is a threat with the ball in his hands, and he's able to do his damage here after the catch. Yeah, this is what we mean when we talk about flipping the field, having your offense look at going the long way to a short way after he makes a play. His ability to do that, 
evident. Able to make the catch there, keep his momentum going, and just continue downfield. And you can see the distance traveled there after the catch on the next-gen stats. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now here's Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. And here's a handoff out of the gun. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Kadarius Toney with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs are able to eat in just a bit to this sizable deficit. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they get a bit of a respite here from what's been an otherwise dreadful first half of football. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And we get Tyreek Hill and the rest of the Miami offense back out there, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? Right. That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Meanwhile, to his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've kind of hit the jackpot there. Here's Robinson again on second down. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. 41 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. AFC title game, second quarter action, two minutes to play. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Ready? On the give, this is their... And oh, he coughed it up, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. He doesn't give many opportunities to carry it, so he's got to maximize 
in this case, after dropping it like that, I think his number's going to go way down. What do you think? Yeah, and sometimes those... And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. After review of the play, so that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. From the 41, Tua. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hill. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Throwing now is Tagovailoa. And able to find Gesicki as tight end. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. First down, Tonga Bailoa. That's caught. Waddle on the left side. Touchdown, Dolphins. Jalen Waddle, 26 yards. And the Dolphins will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And a round is on here in this first half. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This taken in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with the score where it is, even though I think they'd love to get back to the locker room, they may be forced to try and get something out of this drive. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Catch is made by Hardman. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On first down, Mahomes locates Hardman for another catch. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That's their second. They'll be down to one remaining here in this first half. Mahomes now on first down. 
The right side going to be caught by Hardman. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This from 54 yards away. Butker's kick here is good, and they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. Maybe a little fortunate there. That was leaking a little, maybe leaking a lot, but he got it. Yeah, he actually was able to make it work. How about the body language, though, right, as he watched that ball leak to the right, trying to, trying to bring it back in, and had just enough to get it done. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. So we are halfway home to figuring out who will represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks. As always, one half remains in the battle to see who will take home the Lamar Hunt Trophy and represent the AFC in the Super Bowl. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's look back to the NFC Championship game held earlier today. And this is going to be a hot ticket. It's the Dallas Cowboys, America's team, heading back to the Super Bowl as they await the winner of this AFC Championship game. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for KC. And our statistician may need a vacation after this one said and done. What a first half they had throwing the football. Over 300 yards passing already. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they too were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. Both these teams going through their final adjustments before the second half. Which one will lift the Lamar Hunt Trophy? To find out, let's go back out to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. And I think here with the lead, CD, they have to resist that temptation of kind of looking ahead. Would you agree? Absolutely, I would agree, because they know the stakes. They know the winner of this game goes to the Super Bowl. 